So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you quickly you can build out a SEO optimized local site. I'm gonna walk you through the process, exactly how we're doing this, and just show you how quickly you can build out these types of sites. So if you are thinking about doing local SEO services for clients, or you're looking at getting into you know any kind of reputation management or anything like that, then this video is gonna help you to show you how you can set this up all using 100% AI. So we look at my screen here, you will see this is a site that I built. This is something that I built just for testing and just to show you guys how to pull this whole thing off. And I wanted to show you what we've done so far. We've not really done anything other than just install the theme, which is Cadence. WP Cadence is a incredible theme, lots of different templates. So what you're seeing here on this site, this is all the WordPress theme with our logo. Again, we used just a basic top logo that we uploaded here that anybody could do and this is all the theme that they had built into their plugin so you can see this was a roofing type theme i just was trying to do something since this was ac repair something in the real estate something in the roofing space this just seemed to make sense so you can see here this is still we have not even edited any of this stuff here this is all the way that it is this is all the way that it was built using the template. If we go to the dashboard, I'll just show you the post. And so that way you can see we've got Hello World here is still the the basic install of WordPress. If we go to pages, you'll see the only ones that have been built is the contact page as well as the home page and the privacy policy page. So what we're going to do here is we are going to build out the content and then I'm going to show you how we upload this into WordPress. And again, all of this is going to be built 100% using AI. And I'm just going to show you how quickly you can do this. I'm going to put a timer up here in just a moment so that way you can see how much time goes by as we build out these articles. The first thing that we're going to be using is my AI SEO system. The AI SEO system is a sheet where all you have to do is just paste in your keywords. It will build out these articles that are SEO friendly. In this instance, we are using our local sheets. We've built some local sheets inside the AI SEO system specifically for building out localized pages and supporting pages like you see here. So basically all you have to do is you just paste in your keyword in with your CD that you're going after and this will automatically populate this. So I've already done this. So you can see we've got AC Repair Huntsville and then we've got all the surrounding cities that you can see here. So we've got a grand total of 14 keywords that we are gonna be targeting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click this right here to select all of these, just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to start our stopwatch and then I'm going to walk away and then we'll probably speed this up or something like that so you can see how long this actually took to build these out. So I'm just gonna hit start and then I'm gonna go to open AI and I'm gonna go to generate post. And what's gonna happen is, is our AI SEO system is going to automatically um, start building out these articles here. And I'm gonna, re I'm gonna bring this page back over this so you can see once they start populating and you can see how long this is going to take so that being said i'm going to bounce out of here for just a moment we'll see how long this takes and then i will be back here in just a moment so I just wanted to pop in here. You can see we're just at the 20 minute mark and we've already got five articles published. So you're looking at four minutes, roughly a little less or a little less than four minutes per article that uh, that we're able to do this with. And again, these articles are SEO optimized. And you can see here if I scroll on down or if I scroll over, I should say, I'm going to move this over real quick here and I'm going to adjust this, you can see the word count here. These are anywhere between 800 and uh, 800 to 1,000 words in length is what they're gonna end up being. Now, the reason why that's that's that way, there, we have other, other sheets that will do longer form articles than that, but whenever you're dealing with some of the local terms, you don't need you know 2,000 or 3,000 words of content. You just need, you know, maybe 800 to 1200 word range. There's a way that you can set this up and customize this in these sheets so that way if you want a little bit more, you want a little bit less, there's a way of, of manipulating it to your liking and there's a way that you can manipulate the prompts. But again, I just wanted to come in here and just show you here we're at, you know, 20 minute mark and we've already got five articles published. If you were to go through and have to do this manually, 
inside of chat gpt then you're going to be looking at spending you know all day even using chat gpt if you go by a certain format and a certain formula yes it is going to be helpful but if you're able to automate this like what we're doing here it speeds the process up drastically and again uh, we're using all these sheets using our ai seo system and we'll show you how we're taking these from the spreadsheets into WordPress and how we're doing this automatically. And the, the cool part about it, you can schedule it from there as well. So if you don't want to publish these all at one time, you can set up a scheduler to where it will drip out as you see fit. And the cool part about it, you could set up this whole auto blogging system if that's something that you wanted to do. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pop off here. Uh, now that we uh, we're here at the 20 minute mark and then I will touch base again once we uh, once we complete all these articles but I really believe we'll get all the content everything plugged in and you could have a site a localized site like what we're talking about that you could sell for you know thousands of dollars that you're looking at being able to knock it out in the span of a 60 to 90 minute window, depending on how familiar you are with WordPress. But if you do like what I showed you in one of my previous videos where you clone it, then you could clone an SEO template where you've got all your plugins and everything sorted out and you just clone these over and over and over again. So if you go and you sell these to a local client, you're able to build these out for, you know, in, in the span of, you know, 60 to 90 minutes and having a good structure and having a good base of content to start with. So again, we are now at the 23 minute mark and we've already done six articles here. So this is looking good. Something else that I'll, I'll touch on too is the time will vary depending on what time of the day that you are trying to that you're tapping into the a uh, the api if you are doing it midday like what we're doing right now then sometimes these will take a little bit longer if you set these up at night when there's less people on you know pulling the apis it it speeds it up drastically so the way that we typically do this is i'm not sitting here timing this or waiting on it to populate what we typically do is we'll get a list of all of our terms that we're wanting to we're wanting to build content around and we will plug them into our sheet and then we go walk away we go to the gym or we go to the coffee shop or we you know do something other than just sitting here waiting on this stuff to populate and then when it's done it's easy to populate it in, inside wordpress which i'll show you how to do here in just a moment all right so we are at the 46 minute mark and we are on the last article here and so I'm going to let this just keep running to show you how quickly you can get these imported into into WordPress. Um, so I want to mainly show you like when all this finalizes so you can see, OK, there this was, you know, 46 minutes. So we got 15 or 14 articles in the span. This will probably run another minute or two, but we got 14 articles in less than 50 minutes. We can might as well say that. The next step that what we're going to do is we're going to uh, save this as a CSV file. Now, don't get hung up on CSV and Excel files or anything like that. I don't like messing with that no more than anybody else does. But we're going to export this as a CSV file. Then what we're going to do is we're going to turn around and we're going to install a free plugin called WP All Import. And WP All Import will allow us to import that file in. So you can see this just finished. So um, that's what that looks like there. Now I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to let this continue to run, but I'm just going to put it in the I'm, I'm going to put it in the background actually. So that way we can revert back to it if we want to. But you can see what we're looking at here. We have got built 14 articles, anywhere between 800 and a thousand, a little over a thousand words in uh, in length here. So that's done here Now, what we're going to do here in this point is we're going to go over to our site our wordpress site and we're going to go to the dashboard and i'm going to show you the plugin this is already installed but it's called all import if you do a search for wp all import that's it right there when you activate it this is going to pop up this little icon over here on the left hand side and this is where we're going to import our data so let me go back over here to our sheet and I'm going to save this and download it as a CSV file. So we're just going to go right here, download, then CSV file. And you can see this has all 
already uh, downloaded to my downloads. So now I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to upload a file and I'm gonna go to my downloads tab and you can see this is it right here. And we are going to go through the entire process. Now here we can dictate whether we want this to be a post or we want this to be a page. It really doesn't matter from a standpoint of, of uh, SEO. I like to typically do post if I'm dripping them out because of the SEO benefit, because I usually have this tied to other things uh, with bots. But for this case, since I am gonna be doing this all at one time, I'm gonna do this as a page. So we're gonna select pages. Then we're gonna to go to the next step, which is step number two. And then this will show that it says 41 rows will be imported. And we're gonna to go to step number three. And this is where we plug in our content. Okay, so right here, this is where the title is gonna be. So this, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our title from over here on the right hand side where you see it says title, and we're going to pull this over here. So that way our title is gonna be popped into the title section for the content. Now this is really important what I'm about to show you here. You'll see this box here and you'll see there's a visual and there's a text. The text is what allows you to have HTML code and just raw formatted uh, type of code, which is what we want. So we're gonna go over here instead of visual, we're gonna go to text. And then we're gonna go right here where it says full post, this undefined four, we're gonna drag this over right there, okay? Now, what we wanna do from there is we want to go to, I believe it's other page options, and this will allow us to set if we want this to be uh, published or if we want this to be a draft. I'm gonna go ahead and set this as published. Now, if you wanted to do this as a draft and go through and make some slight tweaks and some slight edits, which I think that's probably a good thing to do. But if you want to do that, you can set this to draft and this would be in draft mode and then you could schedule these out as you see fit. Now, you could also randomize the dates if you wanted to. So if you wanted to set this up to randomly select and randomly post, you could do that as well all inside this plugin. Now, what we want to do here is we want to go down here to the post slug, and this is where we're going to drag our keyword. So right here where it says keyword on this tab, we're just going to drag this undefined two right there. The undefined two, we're going to drag that right there. And so what that's going to allow us to do is have our, our URL string or URL, URL slug, the permalink, be our keyword, which is what you want to do. Okay, so now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna go to step four. And I'm going to select the unique uh, uh, unique identifier. We're gonna auto detect it. And then we're going to click continue. And we're gonna confirm and run import. And this is going to go through our import process and you'll see this created our post. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go to pages and make sure that this looks right. So you can see all of these are published here now. AC Repair ARAB Alabama, AC Repair Athens Alabama. So I'm just gonna click on these to make sure these look right. And you can see this is what they look like. Pretty good, right? Pretty good. Now let's look at the time here and see what time frame we're looking at, how long this actually took us to get all of this imported in. So you can see we did this at the 52 minute mark. I'm going to pause this. So we got 14 articles published inside of WordPress inside of 52 minutes that are SEO optimized, all using 100% AI. For a site, if someone asks you to build one of these sites, you know, you could charge thousands of dollars for this type of a site, this type of SEO site. Uh, again, 52 minutes is all it took. By the time you install WordPress and everything else, you're probably going to have an hour to hour and a half in this, depending on if you clone these, like I have showed you in previous videos. So I wanted to, again, just show you how we're able to build out these 100% AI sites. These look really good. They look really professional. Let me just go back here to this page here.
And these are all optimized from an SEO standpoint. So you can see this right here and they are fairly lengthy articles. Now, obviously, if you come in here, you could probably clean these up a little bit. You could probably come in here and make them a little bit better, add some images and that sort of thing. But the bulk of the work is already done. So if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out my other stuff in the description below. My AI SEO system is the sheets that we use to be able to build out these SEO friendly articles. It also has some tutorials and some how to's inside the system. Also, I do an on demand training that you will find below in the description as well. Hope you enjoyed this. Give it a like, give it a share wherever you may be, and I will see you in the next one.